Before I got into programming, I thought that it's boring and difficult, but it's because I associated it with studying, which is boring and hard. But programming is not like that. It's a creative process such as making music or even drawing. Sometimes coding can feel boring because as our brains are used to instant dopamine hits that we receive from dumb scrolling on social media, binge watching TV shows or even playing games, coding requires focus, consistency, and patience. And those don't come with quick rewards. In this video, I want to share with you some tricks and mindset shifts that you should take to make coding more enjoyable again. So let's start with the most important thing that everyone does is that you overthink too much. So you got an application idea and now you are wondering which tech stack should you use. The best decision you can take is to pick something that is widely used and well supported. If you're building websites, for example, you can use Next.js. It's very popular at this moment, so you can easily find solutions. And for the mobile development part, you can go cross-platform with React Native or even Flutter. Keep in mind that if the framework is widely used in the industry, it will be easier to find questions, for example, on Stack Overflow, GitHub, or even the AI can help you. If you're using a framework that's not that popular, even AI can't help you with that because he's trained based on human information. A few days ago, I chatted with a friend about this quote from Sylvia Platt, where she compares life choices to figs on a tree. She looks at all figs, love, career, motherhood, and independence. And because she can decide, all the figs rot. It's the same with overthinking your tech stack. You end up doing nothing, waiting for the perfect choice. Meanwhile, the idea or the opportunity rots. What matters the most is the end product that will help the customers, not the tech stack that is behind to it. Moving forward, another process is to gamify your programming process. So let's compare that to video games. They are addictive, right? They are designed to keep you engaged through loot boxes, rewards or achievements. Even after losing 3 games of playing ranked on League of Legends, you still want to play one more game to see if you can win and get that dopamine hit. We can bring something from that into programming too. I break my work into small tasks and every time I finish one I tick it off. That small action feels amazing because it feels like you're progressing and you're getting that dopamine hit that I'm talking about. It's like validation and validation keeps you going. It builds the momentum. Don't try to do everything at once. Break the project into macro goals. Focus on small things like fixing a bug or change some UI elements or writing new functions today. Make a list and tick it off. And go beyond that because you also need to reward yourself somehow. Treat yourself with a good coffee, have a walk or some ice cream. Celebrate your wins no matter how small they are. That way, your brain starts to associate coding with pleasure, not with pressure. You can also reward yourself with new gadgets or accessories for your setup, like a new keyboard that I'm going to show you from the Royal Clutch, which is the today's sponsor. They sent me over a brand new RKS98 keyboard. I usually prefer compact keyboards because I like having everything within reach without moving too much. But if you're someone who enjoys full-sized keyboards, this one is for you. What I like the most about this keyboard is that it has this cool display built in, like a control panel where you can adjust brightness, color effects and even connectivity type. You can switch between three Bluetooth devices or use cable mode with a smooth sliding button. One feature I really liked is this volume knob. It feels super premium and it has some feedback and can also be pressed to confirm settings. It comes with the linear Viridian switches that sounds amazing so let me show you a quick sound test. Thanks to Royal Clutch for sending over this keyboard and if you're looking for one with the Dutch layout, check the link in the description. Another important thing that makes coding fun is sharing your progress. Building in public can help you to stay a lot on track. That is because it makes you more accountable and you want to share more progress with your community. One of the best platforms of doing that are YouTube, 
X and Reddit. People there are actually interacting with you, giving real feedback, and some of them can become real users of your real product. So you never know because a simple post can lead to a new customer or even interest in a community around your product. You have to start thinking like this. I'm building product X to solve the problem Y for me or for others. If you solve a problem that you have, it's even better. Because you're not only the one that builds the product and sells it, you are the one who knows all the pain points and you can address them correctly. You're not guessing what the users want, you are actually the user. That mindset will make your project more real, you will have more interest in doing that and you will feel more motivated. You will care about it more and it will lead to higher results. Now moving on, have you ever put your headphones on, start coding and listening to some music and then the music disappears and you realize that some hours passed and you didn't even notice? That's the flow. You are like fully locked in and you are doing 10 times more things that you are doing as usual and you are enjoying that. Find whatever triggers that for you. For me is going to a cafe, putting my headphones, starting coding and listening to music and that's how I get into my flow state. Another important thing is your mindset. Seeing programming as a hobby, not just as a job, shifted my mindset completely. It shifted my view from coding is hard to coding is fun even when it's hard. When you see programming as a hobby, you will want to level up your skills and also gather in the community. Experimenting and learning new things every day will become more enjoyable and less stressful. Yes, we code for a living to pay the bills and live well, but if you can see your job as a passion, everything becomes way lighter. You feel more relaxed, curious and creative. Lastly, we have to talk about the dopamine detox. And don't skip this one. It can really have a big impact on your productivity. Our brains are constantly fed up with dopamine that comes from dumb scrolling on social media, playing games or binge watching TV shows. This overstimulation makes slower, more effortful tasks like programming feel boring and frustrating in comparison. It's not that coding is dull, it's that our brains get used to quick and easy rewards. To fix that you have to limit your screen time to 30 minutes to 1 hour a day, keep your phone or other distractions in another room while you are working or switch them off completely. Turning your phone into grayscale can also reduce its appeal. When you're feeling boring, try to replace that phone with a book or do some workout or even some deep work. It's uncomfortable at first but you will notice after a few days that you will have reduced brain fog and improved concentration. And the best part is that hard tasks like coding will start to feel satisfying again. So these were my advices on how I keep coding fun. You can pick one or two habits and try to implement these for a week. If something changes, please let me know in the comments because I will be happy to hear that. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and until the next one, take care. Bye bye. I was so bad You could put the blame on me Baby, can we run it back?